So you're given two points, mm-hmm. right? Um, in our example, you're given negative two comma three. Uh-huh. It looks like. So negative two comma three. What's the other one? Uh, four and one half. Okay. All right, so you've got some kind of thing Mm -hmm. like this, and you're certain that the equation is of the form y equals uh, a, b to the x. Mm -hmm. So you're told as part of the question to do this. Um, So this is like negative 2, 3, and this is 4, comma, Mm -hmm. one half, Mm -hmm. right? Um... This, like, at its core, is just a system of equations, uh-huh. right? Two equations and two variables. Mm-hmm. Um, so if you just, like, write it down. Yeah, um, he had us set up something like that, and then what confused me is we had it, us divide it. Um, like, we would set one-half equals a, b to the fourth, and then three equals a, b um, oh, yeah, that's two, terrible advice. And then um, divide it. Yeah, because it's like, you know, it's a very inspired <laughs> suggestion. <laughs> but, um, so you write down um, you know, like negative 2 equals uh, a, whoops, that's wrong. B3. Yeah. Here, let's do this. Um, So you have uh, 3 equals A, B to the negative 2. Yeah. All right. And 4 equals, nope, I'm just totally on my rocker. Uh, 1 half equals A, B to the 4th. Mm-hmm. Right? Um, The standard practice for two equations and two variables is you solve for one uh-huh. and then substitute into the other one. Yeah. So okay. um, doing something like dividing both equations, mm-hmm. um, which as written would give us... It would give um, us B because I got rid of it. One half over three... Equals uh, a b to the four over b to the sixth equals one sixth. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's good to see this sort of thing um, because it makes you realize that there are no rules. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, the the it's. There's never what you should do. There is only what you can do when uh-huh. it comes to solving equations, right? Yeah. Um, but there's no, you know, this is this sort of thing is um, almost irritating to mm-hmm. see, right? Um, did you do it on the test? Did you figure it out? Um, I think I, like, set this up and started dividing. I think I might have messed up somewhere in the dividing because I could get it to work when I plugged in one point, in, but then it didn't work when I plugged the other So point. he had already shown you a dividing yeah, technique? Yeah, he showed us this way in class. Like, that's just how he told us to do it. Okay, so you had it in your head that yeah. here's what I got to do. Mm-hmm. Um, and... Before he shows you the dividing technique, would you have, like, solved for A? Probably. And then plugged it in for B? Probably. Okay. Um, Cling to that sensibility. (laughs) Because, um, you know, let's see what happens, right? So, A is 3B squared, Mm -hmm. right? That's what we get from this equation. And then substitute that here, right? One half is 3b squared times b to the fourth. Okay. Okay. Um, 
one sixth is b to the sixth. Okay. All right. Right. Mm -hmm. Um. Now, another another thing is like um. If you do uh, so, b is one sixth to the one sixth. Mm -hmm. Right? Um, and then, of course, A is <clears throat> 3 3 times 1 6 to the 1 3rd. Yeah. Right? Um, which means that uh, the best way to write this equation, Y equals A... Um, b to the x is like this. Um, 3 times 1 sixth to the 1 third times 1 sixth to the 1 sixth to the x. Okay, this is not how you want to write it. Uh huh. You want to write it like this. You want to write it as 3 times. Uh, I'm going to write 6 to the minus 1 for 1 6. Okay. And then 1 3rd plus 1 6 x. <coughs> okay. okay. And then that becomes uh, something that's a little more palatable. 3... Uh, I don't know if it's preferred okay. one way or the other. All right. Right. Mm -hmm. But um, you'll see most likely, like if you go to the back of the book, you're going to see the answer mm -hmm. like that. Okay. Right. Um, 